Welcome to Andy Order Vault, Dongle Madness. Finally, I have with me here today, iBaso DC04 Pro. Yes, I know many of you has been waiting for this and thank you for being patient with me. So let's just proceed and check the configuration, the settings and the parameter for this DC04 Pro. So in order to do that, let's just compare it side by side with this DC03 Pro, which I have reviewed recently. Very well received very well liked and in fact a five star rated dongle madness dongle so the first time that i receive it you see here <laughs> i was kind of like surprised because i do expect them to look the same in fact the design is still the same the build is pretty much similar but look at this it is like literally almost double the size of dc03 pro <laughs> all right but the good thing is that they still retain the independent volume adjustment here which is uh, with bigger buttons now really good and USB type C here female detachable which is good and most importantly these two thing here now we have DC O4 Pro offering 4.4 mm balance as well as 3.5 mm single ended hey you know what people has been complaining about this DC O3 Pro not having balance port I basso listens and there you have it. <laughs> Pretty much this DC04 Pro is similar to DC03 Pro in many ways, with an exception of those three things which I highlighted in green there. Okay, let's just talk about the first one. Dual RT6863 op amps. So effectively means that now DC04 Pro comes equipped with a dedicated amplifier on each of the channel left and right so that means that dc04 pro is having double the power of this dc03 pro at 4 vrms from the 4.4 mm balance port and 2 vrms from the single ended 3.5 mm port it also means that the output itself is now rated at 280 milliwatt at 32 ohm and again more than double of what dc03 pro offers and of course the third difference being the balance port if you are a previous user or existing user of dc03 pro the ibaso uac app will not work properly with this okay i have tried that and then in fact you will need to download the latest ibaso uac from ibaso site which is I listed now on screen and also in the description below and once you have that loaded then only ibaso dc04 pro will run properly with the full settings all right so let's just have a look at the app itself okay now i'm loading it it's pretty much the same except that now it shows dc04 pro and also the fpga version so you have volume control there you have left and right balance but most important is the digital filter let's talk about the filter itself because so many has been asking me how do i know which filter to use let me just put it this way if you have neutral and brighter sounding iem or headphones right use the slower filter which is at number four slow roll off okay i have found that that filter will offer a good balance of neutrality and a bit of organic touch to it because the nature of this filter is that it adjusts the temperament of the sound it does not adjust the sound frequency itself it does not adjust the or add any kind of coloration to the sound but it does adjust the pace and the momentum of the sound the output itself so if you have something which is a bit more well balanced neutral and then also organic already it's always best to use NOS, which is number five. No oversampling. Literally telling the app, do not adjust anything. I just would like it to be presented as how it is. However, on the other side, if you have something which is a lot warmer or bassy or kind of like, you know, more like Harman type of tuning, I have found that using filter number one or number two proved to be the better option. Next would be the gain control. Of course, this will be entirely dependent on what type of partner you attach to it. If you are using highly demanding magnetic planner or headphones, always use high gain. And also, if you use highly sensitive IM, then 
just put it on low gain or even medium depending on the needs okay and the output there turbo and non turbo now this is important as well i have checked with ibaso they advise me that you should always use turbo because turbo will always ensure that the double op amp that you have seen earlier will be activated switching it off will also mean that switching off the op amp stage and i think that beats the purpose of why you want to have dc04 pro before we talk about the sound aspect of this dc04 pro let's just have a look at the equipment that i have used to test it so i have with me here sure kse 1500 atomotic ER2XR, Tanjim Zero, Tangzu ZTNWU Heyday, Kinera Idun Golden, C Audio Bravery AE, and of course my favorite, which is Bequest Winter. And on top of that, I also have my three headphones, which are Sennheiser HD 650, Hi-Fi Man HE 400 SE, and also this Fostec T40 RP MK3. And in case you are interested to know what sort of songs I have used to test them, in the description below, I have shared my playlist in Tidal version of it. Now let's talk about the sound aspect and analysis for this DC04 Pro. As you can see on screen right now, just like my previous review, I have identified 10 different categories of which the first four pertains to sound, five and seven pertains to the other element with regard to driving power, synergy factor and volume management, and eight, nine, ten pertains to features, value, proposition and power efficiency. Let's talk about the sound aspect of this DC04 Pro. Make it like this. The first time that I listened to this, I was actually surprised. Surprised because it does not sound like the normal or typical Ibaso house sound that I am so familiar with. And in fact, I would say now that it is different from Ibaso DC03 Pro or even the previous Ibaso dongles that I have tested. And I will talk more about that after this as well. Let's just go back to this DC04 Pro. This is the first Ibaso dongle that I would consider as being neutral, natural and transparent. It does not add any kind of coloration or any kind of boosting in any of the frequency. Does not matter from the lower, mid range or upper frequency. As for dynamic presentation itself, DC04 Pro is one of those dongle which I consider as being mature with the tuning itself. The way it presents sound from the lower frequency to mid range to upper frequency, all very fluid, cohesive and very coherent. It is clean, it is also analytical. But at the same time, most importantly, the note weight and density, it is rich without sounding lean or dry or digital. The most surprising element of this DC04 Pro is actually the tone and timbre balance. It is analog and organic sounding. It does not exhibit any kind of digital element to the sound itself. It sounded neutral and natural and I really love it. The sound is just believable as how it should be. Moving on to technicalities, let me just put it this way. DC04 Pro is definitely among the very best when it comes to technical aspect of sound. First, the sound stage. The sound stage is wide, spacious and offering good sense of depth. As with the instrument placement, the separation of sound, the layering itself, it's just simply top notch. Okay, talking about details and macro details for as long as the listening partner attached to it have the competencies to exhibit details i am hearing everything that i should be hearing the best part is that despite being highly competent with technicalities highly resolving and analytical dc04 pro does not sacrifice the element of musicality while doing it so keeping that balance is not an easy thing to achieve and DC04 Pro is one of the very few dongles that can do that. When it comes to driving power, DC04 Pro does not disappoint. When attached to my Sennheiser HD 650 and my two magnetic planar, that sort of sound, the performance that I'm getting from them was that similar to the output that I'm getting from this desktop setup that I have here. It is full sounding, it does not sound lean, it does not sound missing any element of micro or macro details and i just simply love it 
it is truly proven that this 4 VRMS implementation on this DC04 Pro can actually substitute for some desktop amps. Now let's talk about synergy factor. Let me just put it this way. It does not matter what type of IEM or headphones I attach to this. The key thing is that being highly transparent, the sound signature of the attached device will be retained. There will be no added coloration or any kind of warming or drying or brightening that I observe. So it does not matter what kind of sound signature you have, DC04 Pro will always retain the original sound of the attached partner. Now talking about volume management, this is also another very important element to me. DC04 Pro offers very refined volume adjustment at 100 step, just like the previous iBuzz DC03 Pro. It means that it will allow the user to do adjustment at fine level so that we can capture precisely what level of sound that we want. That is something which is very important to me and which I rated very highly. As for the rest of the features offered by DC04 Pro, let me just put it this way. This is one of the dongle which I really love for the fact that it offers so many tuning options with the UAC app and then the ability to change the gain level, the filter, the mode and everything. I highly treasure that. Yes, it does not handle MQA but that is not exactly a deal breaker to me. So again, on the feature side, it is definitely one of those dongle which I really love. Last but not least, power efficiency. So how does this DC04 Pro perform when attached to this phone like here, my Xiaomi here, which is running on 4000 mAh battery. All right. I must say that the result was pretty much average considering that this dongle now runs at 4 VRMS with added op amps to it. DC04 Pro scored 12 hours of runtime from start until finish until the host ran out of battery. All right running on 4.4 mm balance in medium gain with 32 ohm IEM. So it is not exactly stellar, but it is also not exactly a bad thing because some other or most other 4 VRMS dongle exhibit a similar kind of output and results. Okay, let's just tally up the total score for iBuzz DC04 Pro then. As you can see on screen right now, from 1 until 10, I have graded them individually after Toro testing, all right? And looking at the overall score, DC04 Pro scored 90 points out of 100. And if you look at Dongle Madness grading, this is definitely a comfortable five-star dongle. Comparison. So how does this DC04 Pro compares against the rest of the competition? Before I do that, Let's just have a look at this table, which I'm showing to you right now. All right. As you can see there, I have designated two different category of which I would explain the sort of tuning between different, so many Cyrus Logic deck, which is mostly made of CS4313 or CS4398. So as you can see there, I have placed neutral target on one side and boosted frequency on the other side. What does it mean? Neutral target simply means neutral sounding dongle, which does not exhibit any kind of boosting or coloration. Whereas boosted frequency means that they are enhancing the sound. As you can see there, iBuzzo DC04 Pro falls into the neutral target category, where else DC03 Pro falls into boosted frequencies. And similarly, if you look at the rest of the dongle which I have tested right for the last two years, those are the dongles which I have categorized differently based on the sound tuning of it. The purpose of me showing this table so that it will be easy to differentiate between group of dongles which are tuned differently from one another. But of course, there are more to it with the final details itself. So let's just proceed with the first comparison. The first comparison for this DC04 Pro would be against its own sibling, which is this DC03 Pro. Yes, they are pretty much identical in many ways with just minor differences. However, as you can see on screen right now, both being five star rated, I must say that DC04 Pro has a slight upper hand 
in many ways, in many areas. As you can see there, right, with the sound aspect of it, literally DC04 Pro provide marginal improvement over DC03 Pro, especially when it comes to power and also synergy factor. But I must admit also that DC03 Pro remains the one which is the most efficient. The major difference between these two, DC03 Pro and DC04 Pro, is in fact the sound itself, the way it presents sound. If you remember correctly, in my previous review with this DC03 Pro, I described it as being a bit colored, energetic and vibrant in a good way. I really enjoy it. However, now with DC04 Pro, this is, as I mentioned earlier, organic, transparent, neutral and natural. So, a matter of different way of presenting sound. It boils down to preference, ultimately. For example, if you prefer a bit more of accuracy and a bit more of transparency towards the sound itself without any kind of coloration, definitely DC04 Pro is the one to go for. But if you prefer a bit more of energetic, vibrant and engaging presentation of sound, does not matter whether it is a bit more colored, then DC03 Pro is the one to go for. Otherwise, I would be completely happy with any one of them. The second element that separate them would be driving power. Let me just put it this way. Even with iBASO DC03 Pro, it was able to drive my magnetic planner of hi fi Man HE 400SE and Sennheiser HD650 properly. The sound being full, dynamic and engaging. However, when I switch to DC04 Pro on balance mode, the key difference that I notice is that the head stage and the sound stage gets wider. It does not sound as narrow as this DC03 Pro. The third element that separates them is power efficiency. As I mentioned earlier, DC04 Pro only scores 12 hours, where else, if you recall my previous video, DC03 Pro scores 17 hours. That's kind of like really a huge gap, I would say. Otherwise, it is pretty much similar in many ways with other areas. The second comparison will be against X-Duo Link 2 Balance. In fact, there are many similarities between these two dongles. In fact, if we were to compare the specification itself, both are 4 VRMS rated, both are highly powerful, and both have similar sort of tuning with the sound, which is natural and neutral. However, I must admit that if you look at on screen right now, the rating for iBASO DC04 Pro is slightly better because of the minor improvement it offers on some of the sound element, as can be seen here. And the third comparison would be against Tempotech Sonata E44, another CS4331, which I really like. The main difference between this DC04 Pro and E44 is the sound signature. As I mentioned earlier, all right, E44 belongs to those who are less neutral. It's a bit more colored, it's a bit more energetic and vibrant. So in fact, if I were to compare them side by side, I can clearly hear that E44 also offer a bit more of aggression towards the sound itself. Where else, DC04 Pro is a bit more reserved and a bit more mature with the sound presentation. Comparison number four would be against JKD AP10, which I have reviewed recently as well. And in fact, in many ways, AP10 shares similar sound signature to DC04 Pro. Both are neutral, natural, and transparent. I would say that DC04 Pro does it better with tone and timber balance, of which it is more organic and more natural sounding to my ears. Comparison number five would be against Moondrop Moon River 2 another Cyrus Logic dongle which is well received and well liked and in fact in many ways DC04 Pro and Moondrop Moon River 2 share similar trait in the way they present sound both being neutral, natural, uncolored and transparent however I must say that in many ways DC04 Pro does it better in the element of the sound presentation itself as you can see here on the scoring factor for comparison number 6 and 7, I'll just bundle them up together, which is Truth Ear Shio and Tanjin Space. Because simply, both of them are sounding similar with the sound signature itself. With the way they present sound, it is again neutral, natural and organic. However, when I compare it with iBASO DC04 Pro, 
I must admit that DC04 Pro does it better again on the sound element as you can see there with the rating itself. Not much but enough for me to declare that DC04 Pro is a better dongle when compared to those two. You have seen the comparison of DC04 Pro against the rest of the competition which is built on Cyrus Logic. But how about comparison of DC04 Pro against the rest of the competition? especially with the top performer of dongle madness so let's have a look on the screen right now as you can see with the score of 90 literally this dc04 pro is on par with kain ru6 so yes you are looking at the top most performer of dongle madness right now i am truly impressed with this dc04 pro because the sound presentation of it the way it handles sound the feature the power and the synergy with the different partners is just simply something which I love. Let's just wrap things up for this iBasso DC04 Pro. Before I do that, let's just highlight some of the things. I know some people have been asking me whether this DC04 Pro will support microphone. Unfortunately, I have tested it and it doesn't work with microphone. Perhaps that's one of the cons. But then again, many other dongles also does not support microphone, especially the top performer dongles. In a nutshell, this iBasso DC04 Pro is an amazing, amazing dongle. It is so very easy for me to love this dongle. I love the sound. I love the organic analog sound. I love the power. I love the synergy it offers. And most importantly, the feature which allow me to actually fine tune the sound aspect of it with different sort of partner. And I have to say that I am really happy that iBasso decided to tune this DC04 Pro slightly different from the normal iBasso house sound. Because like I said earlier, I don't expect this DC04 Pro to sound as natural and as organic as how it is. And to me, that is something which I highly treasure. All in all, if somebody were to ask me now which dongle would I recommend, first I will ask them, would you want neutral natural sound then go for ibaso dc04 pro among one of them all right if you prefer a bit more of energy a bit more of vibrant presentation then i would still recommend this dc03 pro it does not matter that this dc03 pro still has 3.5 mm single ended the sound from this dc03 pro is something which i can enjoy as well all right there you have it Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. I hope this has been informational and helpful to you. And please stay tuned to my channel, Andy Order Walk Dongle Madness, for more content like this. You have a good day there. Is that helicopter sound? <laughs> we'll wait until that helicopter park fly over. Damn. You hear that? <laughs> Oh, damn. Go, go, go.